my fellow uh, batchmates and my mentor had uh, suggested me to go for the front end because the basic reason behind was to my uh, background it was dba so they asked me to go for the front end and also uh, my fellow mates had asked me that if you will be able to see the things what what you are happening uh, in front of you like the ui mm -hmm. which we are building it i connected with my batch manager as i was very demotivated at that time so mm -hmm. she had mentioned that as i am coming from completely different background so yes. it's okay to repeat the module it's not like if you had failed the module so you just got demotivated and stop learning stop learning Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are back with our new video. Today we have Kritika with us. Kritika is an Acu Job student. She is currently in her front end module. She has been studying with us since April. Uh, she has made a lot of great projects. She is also a working professional. She has been working with PCS for a long time now and as an IT specialist. So today we talk to her and try to understand how her entire coding journey has been. Uh, what all things she has learned. and what is the best part about learning coding all those things and try to get to know her better so do make sure that you watch this video till the end but before moving forward take a moment to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos now without wasting any more time let's jump into the session and welcome kritika uh, thank you kritika for taking out time to do this with us uh, can you quickly yeah, introduce thank you so much yeah so i am kritika barman uh, i had graduated in year 2018 in bda uh, in finance honors in the same year i got placed in tcs at the role of business process associate so after uh, after joining after some years our company was providing us some opportunity to move from the non technical role to a technical role they had conducted some kind of internal trainings for us so i managed to complete that training and uh, move from the non technical to the technical role basically in the starting i got the role of the developer uh, <clears throat> i was in the training phase only at that time so mm. as i was unable to means uh, do the development tasks which was assigned to me because i was lacking some technical skills uh, mm. the training which were provided uh, was quite theoretical side so i was lacking mm. the technical skills so mm. i company taught me to move from the role of developer to the tester but i didn't got demotivated with this shifting uh, mm. i had pushed myself that if i'll start learning the technical things the coding and all uh, from the mm. very scratch i'll be able to move to the role of developer so mm. i had googled and also connected with some students in linkedin so that i can uh, get myself to the correct institute and learn the uh, learn the coding skills so mm. i finally ended up with joining a career job so that i'll be able to be independent at my job and move back to the developer role okay that's great uh, thank you for your introduction kritika so one thing that i would like to uh, start asking by would be uh, so basically you were a bba student right you did your graduation in bba that was in 2018 but then you started your career in an it industry only right so what was like the reason behind choosing uh, this specific role because you could have gone for any management related role as well so starting say you had an inclination towards uh, making a career in it yeah actually i had seen a lot of my friends who are in it field doing codings and mm. working on the real time projects so that attracted mm. me a lot so mm. i started i thought that uh, i'll be able to uh, get into the role of developer if i can learn the uh, computer languages so i started learning some kind of languages like python c++ mm. by myself so mm. uh, by learning those languages i i found that language is very interesting and i was able to learn and grab the concepts also very fastly so i hmm. thought that uh, this journey would be uh, means uh, continuing in this journey will be profitable for me so hmm. i thought of getting into this industry so and uh, okay. i showed some interest to my managers also acha so kritika like you mentioned that uh, you started learning coding on your own first of all right uh, you had an interest and when you started learning you were able to understand it quite well so that is why you finally decided to move into this journey uh, but uh, a lot of the students i have seen when they start learning coding on their own they just stick to self learning right they either 
go to resources on the YouTube that are for free and they just practice a lot uh, on lead code, right? So, but then you decided to go for a full time online bootcamp, right? You start, uh, you basically got yourself enrolled in that. So, uh, what made you, you know, basically get enrolled in a base full time bootcamp so that you're properly uh, trained in that? So, what was the reason behind uh, yeah. doing that? So the reason behind was that uh, when I uh, started learning from YouTube, there was the mm. vast syllabus which I have to learn. And also everything was not present in a structured way. So mm. when I started learning, I'm learning some things from one YouTube channel, learning from other. The way of teaching was very different. And also uh, I'm missing some of the concepts in between so that I'm, I was unable to grab some of the uh, advanced concepts also as the basic mm. concepts were not clear. So I thought of uh, learning, uh, get into some bootcamp courses and uh, get myself learned from the very basics so that I'll be able to grab some advanced knowledge also. Hmm. So okay. this was so you, uh, you must have done your own research from a lot of YouTube channels, which uh, sorry, a lot of bootcamps that are out there. So uh, what were the things that you were looking for and how did you finally get to know about Akio Job and why did you decide joining Akio Job? Okay, so I had learned. Uh, means I had learned about lot of institutes, uh, but and the the syllabus they used to cover are quite similar. But yeah. the one most thing which I had connected with students of a job, and they had mentioned that the curriculum over there are very good. Uh, the um, means it, they are teaching from the very basics. Basically, it's not like only the technical students are able to grab their concepts and uh, so i thought of joining and also the i found a care job to be very uh, means uh, affordable also yeah affordable also add add uh, means uh, compared the fee structure also so i joined a care job okay got it okay so you basically got yourself enrolled in the month of april right and you must have already completed a lot of modules because you have built a lot of great projects and currently you are in the front end module right so mostly students have the choice to either go for uh, you know full fledged dsa modules and uh, take the back end path or they can go for the mon stack which is like the front end path so what was your reason for choosing front end and not dsa because a lot of people think that many good opportunities and you know high salaries are available in the if you choose data structures and algorithms and if you master those then you can uh, crack really good packages but you have chosen front end which is also good but you can just share the reason like why you chose that yeah actually when i completed my beginners in dsa so yeah. i had also thought of going to the back end modules uh, okay. but my but my fellow batchmates and my mentor had uh, suggested me to go for the front end because the basic reason behind was to my uh, background it was dba so they asked me to go for the front end and also uh, my fellow mates had asked me that if you will be able to see the things what what you are happening uh, in front of you like the ui which we are building it so if you are able to see the things which are happening in front of you and uh, and after that uh, if after covering the uh, front end and after that going to the back end it will be good for me Actually, the major reason of uh, joining uh, front end is that the batch manager had suggested me to uh, continue no, this it batch. Makes sense. It makes sense. Like, uh, and I think it is like paying off really well for you because I have seen the projects that you have already made, and uh, the UI of all of those projects is like seems really good. I can, I like, I will put the link of all the uh, you know projects that you have uh, uh, made in the description below and also show it on the screen so that people can see how great projects you have already made and it wouldn't have been possible if you were not a pro at front end already right so i think if you are learning really well from it and you are enjoying it so it doesn't really matter uh, which field that you chose right okay great Cool, Kritika. So now let's talk a little bit about your journey. Uh, you have done a few, you know, DSA modules as well. You've done front end module as well. Any, uh, you know, memory or maybe any incident that you would like to share that is like, you know, the best part of learning coding for you or any hurdles that you have faced and how you overcome it. You, you can just share that. Okay. So in the very first module, I was unable to crack, crack my module test. 
so Achha. i really got demotivated over there that uh, i'm unable to crack my first module how i'll be able to manage with the rest of the modules so hmm. i connected with my batch manager as i was very demotivated at that time so hmm. she had mentioned that as i am coming from completely different background so yes. it's okay to repeat the module it's not like if you had failed the module so you just got demotivated and stop learning stop learning uh, it's okay to repeat the modules it's okay to <clears throat> as you're coming from different background it might be difficult for you to grab the things at the initial phase but if you can continue it you'll definitely be able to crack uh, the other modules so i started learning more harder i the the best thing which uh, i means which worked for me is the time management uh, in the very mm. starting i was unable to manage my times for the studies i hardly get mm. around uh, one and two hours for my self study apart from the live classes so mm. but then uh, i started to manage my times and now i'm able to take out around four to five hours for my self study and that's that is helping me a lot great cool kritika so you are like uh, you know the epitome of motivation for a lot of students you know we get a lot of students who are from a non tech background and especially uh, so when we try to you know convince working professionals that they should be regularly upskilling themselves they always give this reason that they don't have the time they can't take out time from their you know long hours uh, uh, you know of long working hours so uh, one advice that you would like uh, to you know give to the students who are coming from non tech background especially and they want to you know enter this development field and secondly they are also working professionals and they don't get time at all so what kind of advice would you like to give to these kind of students uh from my perspective uh, as as uh, as you can take me as an example i had shifted from uh, from the flat to pg and also i had shifted from uh, shifted to a pg which is just behind my office so that because of that i am able to uh, save my travel cost and i am also mm-hmm. able to take out much time for my studies so this is the advice which i will be given able to give to the students who are mm-hmm. the working professionals you have to manage your time you have to um, search for the <clears throat> Uh, options which you can get so that you'll be able to take out time for your studies mm-hmm. and uh, regarding the non technical backgrounds who want to uh, move to the uh, developer roles uh, the foremost thing which i you have to identify the interest in which field you are interested and if you are uh, really interested in this in the going into the developer role uh, mm-hmm. and you have to uh, set one goal in your mind and uh, set one goal that yeah in this year or in the coming year i ha- i want to be at that role i want to be a developer and uh, we have to work continuously towards that goal and we have to keep patience also because uh, patience is the uh, thing which it's really uh, it, uh, if you want to move from uh, non technical to the technical role that uh, technical background so you have to have patience and you have to push yourself towards that every day and every day great i think that is a great piece of advice pritika thank you so much again for taking out time to do this with us uh, we wish you all the best for your future and we really wish that you get placed as soon as possible right and yeah thank you so much again we hope people listening to you will find it uh, really inspiring and start their coding journey as soon as possible even if they are from a non tech background and yeah thank you so much that was kritika guys i hope you all found it extremely insightful and her journey will definitely motivate you to get started with your coding journey as well and if you are interested do make sure that you check out the link provided in the description below the link will help you uh, register for the aptitude test the test is just an aptitude test which will help you decide which course is best for you be it mon stack or java full stack both the courses have amazing instructors from it industry who are going to be there for you and enti- through your entire journey so do make sure that you check out the link uh, provided in the description below and if you guys are new to the channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos and also do let us know in the comment section below what kind of questions do you want us to cover in our uh, you know main batch student uh, uh, feature and we will be covering them and i'm also going to be uh, posting the link of all of our uh, projects in the description below so do check it out uh, she is an extremely talented student and yeah thank you so much and we will see you in the next one